Hello, Happy New Year. It's Jesse Amwaja coming to you live and direct from my living room. And today we're talking about watches, an accessory that every man has wore at some point in their life. So the primary function of a watch is to tell time. Everybody knows this. But in this day and age, watches are used more as fashion accessories than for their functionality. And this is due to cell phones. It's very simple to pull out your cell phone and tell the time. It's right there. I mean, it's digital. But I still like my wrist watches. I mean, let's say we're having a conversation, right? And mid-conversation, I pull out my cell phone to check the time. That disrupts the conversation, and it's also very rude and disrespectful. If somebody did that to me, I'd be very offended. Furthermore, if I didn't like them, I'd probably punch them in the throat. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. I'm a gentleman, I don't have time for that. But there are a lot of things to consider when purchasing a watch. So let's get into them. So first we have the band. Now the band is the part that wraps around your wrist. There are two options when it comes to the band. You have leather, and chain link. Chain link is usually made out of metal and based on the size of your wrist you might have to get a size by removing some links. I prefer leather because it doesn't customization needed but again with leather as time goes on depending on the quality of the leather it might rip or it might get old and with the chain link band as time goes on it's going to scratch. I mean each has its upside and downsides but there's the rare occasion where you're going to see a watch that's made of chain link and leather band. I know it does exist. I actually have one, so I'm gonna show you. Now, the second thing to consider when buying a watch is the case. Actually, this should have been the first, since it's the form factor. But anyways, it doesn't matter what order I do it in. The second thing to consider when buying a watch is the case, the form factor of the watch. Now, there are many different cases out there. You have round, you have rectangular, you have square. There's some very odd shaped watches out there, but the most common one I find is the round, and that's my preference. I really like the round shape. Again, it all comes down to what you like and your taste. But yes, definitely consider the, the case slash form factor of the watch. Next, we have the face slash dial of the watch. Now, there are three options to consider when it comes to the face of the watch. We have the Arabic option, we have the Roman option, and we have the stick option. Now the Arabic option is your classic 12 to 12 number in, so it's 12, 1, 2, 3, all the way across. The Roman option is the same as the Arabic, but it's Roman numerals. And the stick option has no numbers, it's pretty much just stick all across. <laughs> Lastly, we have the movement of the watch. Now there are two options when it comes to watch movements. We have the quartz movement and we have the mechanical movement. Now the quartz movement is battery powered and the mechanical movement is powered by gears, so there's no battery needed. You can tell this through the, um, through the dial of the watch by looking at the second hand on the watch. Now the quartz movement has a ticking, it has a ticking second hand, so it ticks across the dial, while the mechanical movement has a sweeping smooth second hand, so it just sweeps all across the dial. Now, like I said, the quartz is battery powered and mechanical, mechanical slash automatic doesn't use any batteries. Now, mechanical is the most traditional movement in a watch, like back in the old days, they would wind it will wind the spring up in the, in the back of the watch and then it will get the gears going. But in the wrist watches, I've noticed in my wrist watch, it's actually, it actually goes by twist. So when I twist my hand, then the gears stop moving. So yeah, quartz and mechanical. So that's it for things you should consider when buying a watch. My name is Jesse Abwaja once again. Thank you very much for watching. Show me some love, huh? Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it if you found it helpful. Thank you again for watching, all right? See ya. I have a lapel flower or a lapel pink. I chose a pink rose lapel pink because tough guys wear pink and I think it's really flat. <laughs>